Hello and welcome to another episode of Roads, Rails, and Runways. And this is actually a special video because instead of sitting on my futon talking to my iPad, I'm actually with a real vehicle. So, uh, this will be interesting. This is a 2006 Chevrolet Corvette Z06, and if you look very closely, you'll notice that it's orange. Before you ask, no, this is not factory paint. This is actually a mix of gold and candy orange. Now, the only orange semi-close to this is the atomic orange that came from the factory, uh, but as you can see, this kind of looks better. If you look very closely in some places, you'll notice there's a silver hue to the paint, and that's because the car was in fact actually silver when it began and this section right here was actually caved in because this is a rebuilt car and you can't really tell that and it looks pretty good uh, whoever did it uh, props to you so far you can tell this car is definitely not stock and yeah, well yeah that's true uh, as you can see by this big cow hood you might be wondering is there anything under there and besides a big 7 liter 427 engine uh, you'll find a stage 3 cam setup, and I'll show you that now. Obviously it has a lot of power, from the factory it came with over 500. Now the Z06 name is certainly not new, in 1963 there was a special factory form you could fill out, uh, Z06 was the code name for a performance package on the 63 Stingray, and it was revived with the C5 and now here we are with the C6, of course C7, and the new C8. Moving towards the back of the car, you'll see that the roof is carbon fiber. Just kidding, it's a wrap, but it still looks cool. They do a good job on it. And moving down here, you'll see an air duct that is, in fact, functional. It cools the brakes of these meaty rear wheels. They're quite large. Uh, a neat thing about the door handle, uh, you see this little crevice here. There's a unique way to open the doors to a C6 Corvette. So you put two fingers in said crevice, hold it there. Of course, the car has to be in lock before you do this. And there you go. You just gotta hold it there and then it'll respond to you. And closing the door is actually pretty neat too because the window fits uh, accordingly. So when I close it, the window goes up. Moving back to these carbon fiber uh, accessories. Uh, this isn't the only accent on the car. If you move back to the front, there's some on the front logo and the back logo. All right, we're at the back of the car now. And if you just stand right beside it, these rear fenders are pretty meaty. Now, allegedly, you can correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, the 2006 Z06 is the widest production Corvette ever built. Uh, and I would believe that. I think they changed the body style after this year to thin it out a little bit. But yeah, this I think this is what's guilty of that. Um, C6 taillights, typical. And the rear uh, hatchback here. It's got the... 
those align things. And I'll show you what it looks like. All right, we're at the back of the car here, and as you can see, that's a Z06 mat. Very nice. Also, when you open it, uh, lights turn on, so you can see all the stuff you're hiding in here. And you can hide a lot of stuff in here. There's a surprising amount of space. And oh, there's a dog. Anyways, there's a little cloth here you can conceal your uh, drugs with if you're into that. But yeah, pretty good space for C6 Corvette. Uh, not the best daily driver, I would say, but if you're into that. All right, so we're the interior of the car now, and as you can see, we're pretty low to the ground. Here's the steering wheel, and as you can see, it has a Corvette logo. You'll also notice that the steering wheel is actually a circle. Not much can be said for the C8. Oh, the seat's really creaky. Anyways, uh, here's the driver's display. As you can see, it says Z06. Very cool. And when the car is on, it's not right now, obviously, uh, it has a little message for you. Uh, if this was my car, it would say, Welcome, Braden Terra. Of course, you have to put the setting in, but that's a thing that can happen. Uh, along with that, there's a heads-up driver's display. You obviously can't see that right now. Uh, but yeah, and surprise, surprise, it's a stick shift, six-speed manual transmission. The impressive thing about the Z06 is uh, it can reach over 100 miles per hour in fourth gear. So, yeah, if you've ever seen the Top Gear episode of this, uh, you know what I'm talking about. Buttons. 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 Mystery cup holders. Buttons. The word Corvette, along with the airbag slit that you can't see in this lighting. A thing to note about the seats is they're actually surprisingly comfortable. Uh, not a lot of people think that uh, low seats, bucket seats kind of like this are any good, but hey, I like them. Along with that, uh, Z06 is stitched onto the headrest. Cool. Another interesting detail, uh, the door handle for the driver's side is here, and the passenger side is there. Along with those fun details, I also found a packet of beef jerky, a hat, and some nuclear launch codes. Now obviously to start this car, you're going to need to push in the clutch and the brake and put it in the neutral and all that fun stuff. Uh, this is what it sounds like starting up. Well everyone, that concludes this brief tour of the C6 Z06. I want to thank the owner who kindly allowed me to access his vehicle. Uh, expect some more videos with it soon actually, so uh, better quality videos than this at least, because it was kind of, you know, it was alright. Mm -hmm.